Hi, in this video I want to show you a book that you can use to learn calculus. It's a good book because it has tons of exercises and it has full solutions, not just answers, but full solutions to every single exercise. Now you might think, wow, this is the perfect book. This is like the best calculus book in the entire world. No, it's, it's not, but I do think it's the best workbook for calculus. By workbook, I mean a book that you can use that will get you started ASAP and you can start learning math right away. So it's written by Chris McMullen, PhD. He's written other workbooks. Here on the back, it has some derivatives, some integrals, some stuff with logs and exponents, and a couple trig identities that you might need. Useful things that you might need for the exercises in this book. So as I mentioned, uh, this is a workbook. So the difference between this and a textbook is that this doesn't have as much content. So like if you buy a used copy of like Stewart's Calculus, you know, one of those big thick calculus books, that has way more content um, than this does. Okay, just way, way more. This has a lot less content. But this has very clear explanations, perhaps better explanations in some books. Uh, perhaps not in some cases they're better, in some cases they're not. But you do get full solutions and you do get tons of exercises. So it is something that would make a great supplement to a course or also good for self-studies. And, and you can use it to get started. Like if you've never seen calculus, in theory, you could buy this book. And I do think it's a good place to get started. It's got a cool graphic there. Check the copyright on this. Uh, 2018 and 2021, Chris McMullen, PhD. And then here are, uh, he has a PhD in physics, by the way. Here are the contents. So it starts with derivatives of polynomials. You might think, wow, a whole chapter on derivatives of polynomials. Who does that? Well, workbooks do, right? They're intended to really just isolate some specific concepts and focus on those concepts so you can get better at them. So this is a pretty easy concept and it's a good place to start for beginners. So if you're new to calculus, you can start right here and you can start learning calculus today. Then the chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule very important rules that you learn in, in Calculus 1. Derivatives of trig functions, derivatives of exponentials, derivatives of logarithms, and then second derivatives, extreme values, limits, and L'Hopital's rule. Then you have integrals of polynomials, definite integrals, integrals of trig functions, integrals of exponentials and logarithms, integration by polynomial substitution, integration by trig substitution, integration by parts, and then multiple integrals and solutions. Let's jump to page 65. Let's jump into the heart of it um, and see what is going on there. So page 65. So here you have uh, integration by trigonometric substitution. And this is considered by many people to be the hardest, the hardest integration technique that you learn in Calc 2. So I should emphasize that this book contains topics uh, from Calc 1, Calc 2, and even Calc 3. That would be multiple integrals. So Calc 1, 2, 3. So it contains topics from three different courses from the full calculus sequence. You're going to get some topics. Not everything, uh, just, just some specific topics. So I remember when I took Calc 2 and I learned trig substitution, I would look back and think, wow, that's like the longest thing I learned in the course. I, I, I still felt overwhelmed by it at the end of the course, you know, looking back, I thought, wow, those problems were long. Um, now I don't feel that way, but when you first learn it, it, it certainly feels that way. And so he's got some really good examples and he goes through everything here. And then here we go. Here's a really good example of a trig substitution. Here he lets X equal three tan theta and finds dx and then goes from there. So just nice example. Look at all the work involved here, right? And he picked a definite integral, which is good, makes it a little bit harder. And so he goes through all the computations. Look how, look how detailed this is, right? That's pretty cool, right? That's, that's really cool, really good work. Now there are less exercises in this book than in some of other Chris's books. That's because he has, he has full solutions, right? So we're gonna look at those in a minute. You're gonna see that it, it it takes a lot of space and effort to write those out. So you've got two problems here. Check your answers in the back of the book. And a couple more here, a couple more here, and then a couple more here. And that's it, right? That's it. So two, 
So it doesn't have like a ton. So it's eight, eight problems, right? So not insane like some of his other books have hundreds. Uh, so eight problems. But it's still worth it because, you know, if you buy a book, sure, it's going to have more exercises. Then it's going to have perhaps different explanations and perhaps better ones. But this gives you an alternate viewpoint. Also, the cost of this book is so affordable. And that's honestly why I bought it. I mean, I already know all this stuff, but I collect math books. So I saw this one on Amazon and it was really inexpensive. And so I bought it. And I've had it for quite a while. I've done some of the exercises and I've read some of the chapters. And I think it's a really good book. It's a really good book. Let me show you the exercises before I, for before I forget. So you can check these out. Yeah, he's got some physics stuff too. Um, he is a physics professor, I think. Uh, he has a physics PhD. He's written a lot of books. So you can see here, uh, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of work here in the back, right? These are full solutions, right? Full solutions. Look at this one. Wow, right? Going through all the work and all these extra points. Are you wondering why if this, you know, just, he explains everything in, in great detail. He's got like the answer then some notes on the answers. So um, you're not going to get this in most books. Most textbooks aren't going to have this. By textbooks, I mean books that cover, you know, tons of content, whereas this one only covers uh, some content. So let's check the beginning so you can see if you're ready for this book. So here he starts with the first formula and then he gives you some examples. Okay, and then here's an example here. Let's take a look at this one. Let's take a look at this. It says here, perform the following derivative with respect to x. So find the derivative, right? So, so basically you're using the power rule here. So you have this exponent, you bring the three down. So three times five is 15. Subtract one from the exponent, you get two. So it'd be 15 x squared, right? But he explains here how you have to match it to uh, this formula. He says ax to the b, coefficient is a equals five, and the exponent is b equals three. So you plug him into the formula. So he's just using the formula directly, which, which is not something you want to do uh, once, you, once you know how to do this. You basically want to do what I did, just bring it down and put it in the front. But when you're writing a book and you're trying to explain that to someone, it's really hard to put it in writing. So I think he does a great job. And then, again, it's meant for beginners. It's meant for beginners, right? This is for people who are just getting started. I think the only prereq would be just some basic algebra, uh, at least until you get to the trig stuff. And then here you have some more exercises. You can see here, there's actually more exercises uh, in, in this section here than there are in some of the harder sections. And they're pretty easy. I mean, they are, they are pretty easy. But it's a good mix, right? It's a good mix. This is for beginners. And yeah, it's a good book. So I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Um, I think it's a great book. If you do get it, I would just recommend maybe just doing a, a few problems uh, a day and you'll get better at math. Yeah. Also, if you want to learn math, check out my courses on mathsorcerer.com. I have tons of calculus courses and other courses so you can learn calculus and become a calculus master. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use my website, mathsorcerer.com. Check out my links. I've lowered the prices, so... You'll get a little price and you can learn some math. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.